Hey, this is Terry with Oxen Technology. Today I want to talk to you about a sock and a sim. So we're going to go to the whiteboard and try to illustrate this. Um, first, let's start off with kind of, I want to describe this concept we call, uh, the industry calls a sim, S-I-E-M, Security Information and Event Management. So I was thinking this morning about how our, uh, our cars, like most modern cars are going to have, uh, like we may not even know this, they have computers. I mean, there's some degree of computational and monitoring capability inside most of our modern vehicles. Well, those, uh, that computer is monitoring all kinds of data inside your, uh, inside your car, performance data, safety data, emissions data. There's, there's all kinds of stuff going on behind the scenes. And you never know about it until your check engine light comes on. Well, kind of like the concept I'm talking about today with the uh, security information and event management, all of your Windows, uh, Windows computers, all these devices collect large amounts of data. Like a, a data is being logged all the time. The problem is that it's very difficult to get all of that data in one place in order to analyze it, in order to know if there is a check engine light on somewhere that I need to do something about, okay? Well, the SIM, what the SIM does for us is it provides an ability for us to have all of the data that your Windows computers and servers are collecting, no matter where they are, anywhere, anywhere on the network, whether they're, they're you know, at the office, whether they're at the coffee shop, the hotel room, working from home, no matter where they are, 24 by 7 by 365, we are going to aggregate that data. So all of those computers, all of the event, right, security information and event log data, we're going to aggregate all that and put it in one place and analyze it. And what we're looking for is badness, okay? Now, the next step is we need someone to look at this data. Well, how do we do that? You know, a quote from one of our security partners, which I think answers this question, how do we do this? Well. Cybersecurity is not a full-time job. It's a dozen. You either need an army of qualified resources to work around the clock, or you need help. So this is where the SOC comes in. So the SOC is going to add people and technology to this process, right? Human resources um, combined with even some artificial intelligence, right? We're also going to combine that with global intelligence databases. We're not the only ones collecting intelligence right, on, on breaches and badness that's happening in North America. You've got people in other countries that are, that are also um, tracking what, what's called indicators of compromise. Right? Every time badness is observed, we're creating a database of it, and we are aggregating all of that information into global intelligence or what's called threat intelligence. Well, what the SOC's going to do is they're going to run all of this security information and event log stuff through these filters, right? We're not only going to use automation to find where badness might be happening in your network that might have been happening somewhere else, but we're also going to have human, human eyes looking at it and maybe seeing things that artificial intelligence can't see or that the technology right? It's not apparent, right? A by itself is benign. B by itself is benign. But if I get A and B together, then I got badness happening, right? And so this is the kind of human analysis and pattern recognition that we're capable of seeing that, that we can throw an alert on and say, hey, we've got A and B getting together. There's bad stuff going on here. So these two concepts, I think, are really helpful to understand. A lot of data is being generated but how do we aggregate that data across all of the devices that are running in your network in all of the places that they're running, right? Especially nowadays, work from home. We got, we've got computers and devices running everywhere. How do we get all this data in one place? And how do we add the army, right? To, to go back to the quote, cybersecurity is not a full-time job. It's a dozen. How do we get the army of qualified resources to analyze all of that data to let you know when there's something bad going on on your network, somebody needs to do something about. This is where you add in the Security Operations Center, okay? So I think to conclude kind of what we're talking about here, Oxen is now offering uh, enhanced security solutions that include this type of functionality. 
And so what's, what's really nice about this is that we're able to scale this down in a way that brings very rich capabilities down to the small business level, small business budget, right? And, and, and it enables you as a business owner to monitor your network for attackers. So depending on the statistics you look at, what they call the dwell time, the average dwell time of an attacker, and this is this, this means the average time that an attacker is in your network, okay? They've already broken in. The average time that they're in your network is 200 days. So the whole point here of SOC, or not the whole point, one of the major points of SOC is that we want to be analyzing the data so that when an attack does happen, and we believe it will happen, that we're going to be able to detect that behavior very quickly in order to, to shut it down, right? We want, to, we want to reduce the damage, mitigate the damage as quickly as possible. So I want to add, this is all software as a service. You subscribe to what you need. You don't need any upfront capital investment. You don't need any hardware to do this. This is all uh, software that runs on top of your existing Windows devices. So we'll stop there. Um, I would also encourage you to check out a couple of other videos that we've done uh, talking about, uh, I, was, I was comparing the differences between traditional antivirus and endpoint detection. I would encourage you to check that out. And also the second part of that, the follow-up to that was talking about the tools of endpoint protection, where I start to talk about um, uh, kind of this other, what I would call next generation AV. Uh, it's probably not the best way to describe that, but the whole point is that we have a, another level of tool set that we're using to combat malicious software. And in another video, I will tie these two things together, SOC and what we call endpoint protection or otherwise known as endpoint detection and response. So we'll talk more. I would encourage you to leave comments uh, below. Let me know if this message is resonating with you. If there's a, an area or a topic that I, or, or an aspect of this that I could go deeper in that you want to know more about, I'd really encourage you Put some comments below and let's engage uh, more on this. Till next time, I'm Terry with uh, Oxen Technology, your shared CIO. I'll see you next time.